In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. Well, a year and a half ago, my sister and I found my mother, Jean Finnamore. We found her dead in her home. She had died through the night, and when we found her, there were so many things we had to do in order to get uh, her estate ready. When we went to her little safety deposit box that she kept underneath her bed, we opened it and we found various pieces of uh, documentation, but there was a letter inside her safety deposit box that was addressed to my sister and I. She told us in the letter how much she loved us, and she concluded her letter by saying, Brian, Marie, please pray for my soul. Beautiful words. Now, almost all of you, probably all of you, have lost a significant person in your life due to death. Their death leaves us feeling helpless sometimes. But the fact remain, remains is that those who have died, they need our prayers here on earth. In order to achieve full membership, inclusion into the kingdom of heaven, the soul has to be fully sanctified. Now, to understand what a soul has to go through in order to be fully sanctified, the church has come up with the doctrine, the teaching of purgatory, which is where the souls go to cleanse themselves from the venial sins or from any attachments to mortal sins. It's while the souls are in purgatory that we can pray for them. Prayer and especially the celebration of the Mass are two things that we can do to pray for our deceased loved ones to help them get quickly into heaven. All Souls Day, November the 2nd, you can do something for your deceased loved ones. I encourage you today, go into the chapel, say a prayer. Pray for the souls in purgatory. Pray for your grandma, your grandpa, your mother or dad. I encourage you to go up in the chapel, in the right-hand corner of the chapel, or the left-hand corner of the chapel, rather, there is the Book of Life. I've lit a special candle there today to help you identify it. Write in the names of your deceased loved ones. Write them in there, because this Thursday when we celebrate Mass, we're going to pray for everyone who has their name recorded in that book of life. Let's pray for our deceased loved ones. Today's all souls. One day we're going to need our descendants to pray for us. So let us pray. May the souls of the faithfully departed through the mercy of God, may they rest in peace. Amen. And grant eternal life unto our deceased loved ones, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Have a holy All Souls Day, St. Paul. And St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The students from Mr. Gillis's grade 10 class going on retreat, at the end of these announcements, after you listen to Mr. Schmidt, please come down to the cafeteria. Have a great day, St. Paul. Good morning, St. Paul. My name is Philip Mello, and these are your morning announcements. Sorry, St. Paul. The EcoBuzz conference is this Thursday. Would all students who sign up to attend EcoBuzz please meet Ms. Cazaro after school in room 225 to receive some very important information? This is for grade 12 students. If you are interested in applying to Victoria College or the University of Toronto, check their scholarships or bursary site and the application process. Fireside Essay Scholarship, a program to honor Catholic education by recognizing top high school religion students. Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia. 
check their various programs and scholarships. <clears throat> Please make sure your homeroom teacher has your photo retake money by tomorrow. After that, you will have, you'll have to mail your photo retakes to LifeTouch on your own. If there's a problem with your photos, please see Mr. Phillips. And now, time for sports. This is a reminder to all members of the junior boys volleyball team, there is a practice today after school. As well as another reminder for the girls' volleyball team, your next practice will be this Thursday at 6.45 a.m. sharp. After school, the senior girls' basketball team play their final game of the regular season against Streetsville Secondary as they go for their sixth win of the season. All fans are welcome. The final senior boys' trial will be held tomorrow morning at 6.45 sharp. If you cannot attend, please see either Mr. Galley or Mr. Minot. And now a word from Mr. Schmidt. Tell me when. On? Go. Okay, we'll continue. Good morning to St. Paul. I want to use this opportunity to talk about two cultures in any and every school. Culture of caring and the culture of whatever. Culture of caring. I want to remind all students that starting tomorrow and on Thursday, Every week from now until the end of the semester, we are going to have our York University students in our library immediately after school in order to provide help and assistance for any student who would like it in all subject areas. So please make sure that you tell your parents and that you take advantage of it every Wednesday and Thursday or between Monday and Thursday. Our teachers are also in there between 3.30 and 4.30. Help is available for students, and now that we're approaching midterms, that's a really important thing to take advantage of. The second aspect of the culture of caring here at St. Paul's is our breakfast club. Every morning from 7, approximately 7.40 to 8.10, those students who would like to take advantage of a small snack with a donation can do so at the student council office. Now, the other side. The other side is the culture of whatever. And this is what I want to get at. We are approaching mid-semester, and from this point on, I don't have a lot of time or patience for people who are late and out of uniform. So I want you to take real serious note of the fact that while we have a culture of caring, we also have a culture of whatever, and that culture will not be rewarded. There will be consequences. Please make sure from this point on that you make your absolute best efforts to be here on time and in uniform because your period one teacher, your homeroom teachers want to make sure that they get off to a good start. And you see the announcements which every day tell us what's happening and what's gone on the day before. Have a great day at St. Paul. The song of the day is Take a Minute by Canaan. <laughs> 